Good morning and welcome to a very sunny Copenhagen. This follows on from Greenland. Um, to fly to Greenland the most sensible way from the UK is via Copenhagen. And I decided on the way back I'd have two nights in a hotel here so I could have at least a full day and possibly um, partly a second going round the city. Um, it turns out the EasyJet changed my flight on the return home so I've got most of tomorrow as well because it's um, a sort of late evening flight so so we've got a day in a bit round Copenhagen had a reasonable night's sleep had some breakfast and now I'm stepping out uh, I'll be using public transport I did get an app where I could buy a ticket but it didn't seem to work with my card so um, hopefully we'll be able to buy one at a machine using said card and then we'll be on our way. Um, I was wondering where to visit and I will put details of this site um, in the description below but I went to a site, ended up going to a site called and I think it's um, photo location or a location scout or something like that um, and for Copenhagen it's come up with 71 different places I can't see that I'll get to them all um, by any means but we're off to our first one which is one that um, I particularly fancied anyway looking at it um, and it makes sense to go there just walking down this road it's probably about half an hour's walk so I'm going to go and walk down here go to a couple of locations and then there we're at the end of the metro into the city centre so hopefully we can buy our city pass 48 hour city pass there and then we're on the go into the city centre the site where I'm going I think it'll look quite good this morning um, but what I'm going to do is come back that way because I think it'll be an ideal after dark site it's uh, modern architecture um, looking across some water and I think that will look quite good lit up um, at night I've seen night pictures of it so that's where we're heading and we'll probably see you when we get there right we'll come along towards where we're aiming for and come across this uh, little waterway and I thought I'd take some shots of that um, but what I did discover in the, just in the centre of the um, picture there there's a is it a crane so I've taken a number of shots of that um, and any decent ones I'll quickly put up on video after this as I head over to the the spot I was actually really aiming to get to so that's quite a find it's um, seems to be relevantly um, docile is not flying away although there's a load of children arrived now so whether that will cause it to fly away I'm not quite sure but anyway we've yep oh there he goes or she goes so anyway got some nice shots so anyway we'll carry on and we'll see you a bit later Right, well this is the place we're aiming to come and we're here, this um, the building with the, or the two buildings with the sloping roof. Pictures I've seen have been partly with reflections in the water, although it's too windy and I don't think even a long exposure is going to help. So I've just taken some handheld shots, uh, maybe the best I'll put up on the video. Um, but the idea is on the way back to the hotel I come this way back 
uh, when they're lit up uh, at night and that should make quite a nice uh, exposure yeah it's, it's very pleasant here um, and as you can see on the other side there's this um, I don't know whether you'd call it nature reserve or, or whatever so um, we've just come from um, I don't know whether you can see it there there's a bit of an old boat and there was lots of children playing in but seeing the children walking there um, it now might be empty so I'll maybe go and see if I can get some shots or some images I don't like using the word shots although I keep using it some images of, of that structure when there's no children there so and then I'll maybe come through here go to the metro station and then head into the centre of Copenhagen so I'll put some shots up and we'll see you a bit later
Right, well here we have the Bridge of Circles, just trying to take some shots. So you can see the, um, if you look around here, the, each bit is a circle. As if we start to look up. We've got circles there, circles above us here. And get the gun one to go up. Then more circles. Got five circles with uh, towers with circles above. So we're going to try and take some shots. Um, I think it might actually be a swing bridge of, of some description. Um, if we look down here. We'll see there's a join on the circle there where it can um, swing apart. So we'll try and get some shots and if they're any good we'll put them up on the video and we'll see you a bit later. Right, well we're now near Tivoli, which is the sort of amusement um, park type thing. Um, and the reason we're near here, we came to this building here. The Axelburg, um, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, building. Because um, in here is an amazing, um, well it's not so much a staircase, but uh, vestibule where you can see up and the rings etc so I've taken some pictures hopefully which will come out brilliantly um, yeah and we'll show you those on the video next and then we're going to the building over there which is quite an unusual building and get some external sort of architectural stroke um, creative shots um, yeah, I think we might. I'm quite feeling quite uh, tired. Either find somewhere to sit or might go back to the hotel. Because um, I have left with packing, um, taking things out of the camera bag for the flying. And there's one or two, a couple of things that I haven't needed so far, but I didn't put back in. But we're going to get try and get some creative shots on this building with the, the circles, etc. So. Uh, we'll have a wander around and we'll see what we can see and we'll see you shortly. <laughs> 